All right, I'm in the process of building a couple benches. I'm going to actually have them butt against each other. There's a, a bottom shelf and a top uh, bench. And uh, in order to do this, I need to have some plywood. And instead of bringing in full sheets of three quarter inch ply, I'm going to have them cut at Home Depot. When I go there, I always want to have a list of what I need cut. And you know, sometimes they're less complicated, sometimes there's more. Usually they give you a couple of cuts at no charge. Uh, what I come up with is uh, this sheet here. It's going to allow me to do the 24 inch and a 21 inch and a little 3 inch rim that will go along the, the edge there. Uh, but I was thought I'd show you how I produce this paper so that I'll have it for my own reference but I also will have it for the uh, Home Depot associate when I go there. But let me show you how I produce this uh, paper. Well, although I'm new to it, I've been learning this SketchUp Pro and uh, actually been enjoying it. I'm going to take this dude, going to get rid of him. I'm going to do just a basic architectural plan. Uh, I start with a square, but I want to make it the proper size. So for a sheet of plywood, it's going to be 4 foot, comma, by 8 foot, comma, and hit enter and it should bring a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood out there. There we go. Uh, so the next thing I have to do is I want to make my uh, my dimensions for cut. There it is, me pulling it out a little bit. That's what she said. Alright, so the uh, next thing is um, we're going to get the tape measure. I'm going to measure out the first cut section is going to be 21 inches so I'll just type in 21 inch enter and it should bring the uh, measure line to that 21 inch area and I'm going to just straight down make a line there the next thing I'm going to do is measure out here and type in 24 because I need that section to be 24 foot that'll be the top of the workbench and I bring it on down there we go you can see that's going to leave me with a three inches extra but it's nice because that'll actually be the like a little backstop on the uh, the back of it and I'm making two benches so I'm going to just print this out here and bring it to Home Depot because they'll do at least one or two cuts for you on plywood um, or pretty much anything um, but I'm gonna print it out I just can go ahead and add some text here I'm gonna text put a little arrow there and make sure that they know that part's gonna be 21 inches and then uh, after I enter that through I'm gonna make a little text here this will be the 24 inches and once that is done there we go Enter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and print that out so I can bring it into uh, the Home Depot with me because then it's kinda easier for them to see I mean I'll have a copy of it again being very new to SketchUp I'm just learning this but I'm gonna save this I'm gonna print it out and I'll bring it in and here's the sheet of paper let me show you what it looks like after it goes through the printer and then it comes out of the printer and I'm ready to go but uh, it just takes a few minutes to do it and at least it's uh, clear and precise what cuts I need of course this is a simplistic one but I'm sure there'll be more complicated cuts but even if I didn't have them cut it would give me some diagram I pinned to the wall and have it there for me. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how I use uh, the free program Google SketchUp to make my my diagrams for cutting. Haven't designed it yet, but again, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm learning it as I go along.